All right, time to practice taking derivatives. So you got f of x. That's pretty easy to write down that. Whoops. f of x is a quotient. And it's going to be the natural log of x over x. Let's do the first derivative. I'll use the quotient rule. That's x squared. And then you get x times the derivative of natural log, which is 1 over x, minus... Uh, let's see, x, the root of x is 1, times the natural log of x. What do you get there? 1 minus the natural log of x over x squared. All right? So let's go to the next one, which is f double prime. And let's see what you get over there. Uh, square the bottom. That's x4. And then bring the bottom to the top, which is x squared, times the derivative of the top, which is 1 over x. I'm sorry, minus 1 over x. Minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, which is 2x. All right, what do you get over there? You get minus x Let's see, minus 2x plus 2x ln x over x4. Well, I'm going to reduce that. I'm going to uh, factor out an x on top and bottom. You get x cubed on bottom. And you would get minus 3. And then you would get plus 2 ln x. All right? And, uh, you yeah, Kind of, you know, just backtracking over here. F of x was easy to write down. First derivative wasn't that bad. We did get that. And the second derivative, really not that bad. We got that as well. All right? A little bit written a little differently, but we got it. I want to go into the uh, third derivative. And I'm going to erase this business over here. And I'll go for third derivative now. I'm going to see if we get that one too. So third derivative. And let's see what you get over there. And I'm looking at this guy here to take that guy's derivative, right? So it's going to be x6 and then x cubed times the derivative of the top, which is simply 2 over x, minus the top, which is 2 ln x minus 3 times the bottom, which is 3x squared. Well... I'm getting better at simplifications now. I'm going to divide top and bottom by x squared. You get x4. You get 2. I'm sorry, there's a square over there. Otherwise, I couldn't have done that. Or not neatly, anyway. This is going to be minus 2 ln x minus 3. And then you get 3 on the outside. You're going to get 2 minus 6 ln x uh, plus 9 over x4, which gives me 11. 9 plus 2 is 11 minus 6 ln x over x4. I'm seeing that over there. All right? So derivatives we got down, and we're not too bad to do. And what I want to do is evaluations now. And I want to evaluate it at, um, at 1. All right? So I know there's a lot of logs over there. So the natural log of 1 is going to be 0. I think it's kind of easy for me. So f of x, or f of 0, is going to be uh, 0 divided by 1, which is 0. f prime, I, I made a mistake. I just noticed it. I was thinking of 0 in my mind. It's 1. What does this give me? It gives me 1. What's f double prime at 1? Well, you can get minus 3. This is really nice, isn't it? f triple prime at 1 is going to be 11. All right? So let's just check. Yeah, we did. And I'm going to start writing down what they want me to write down, which I believe is 2, 2, t3. A lot of t2s and t3s here. t2. Let's see what we get. Well, we get 0. I'll write that down, by the way. And then we're going to get plus, let's see, um, f prime of 1 is 1. 
And my center again was uh, 1. So it's going to be x minus 1 plus minus 3. I'll clean this up in a second, by the way. x minus 1 squared, and it's going to be over 2. So let's write this down. t2 is going to be x minus 1, and it's going to be minus 3 halves x minus 1 squared. Let's write down t3. I'm going to simply say it's t2 plus the next term up. And what's that going to be? 11 over 3 factorial, which is 6, and x minus 1 cubed. Let's get a red pen out, see how we did. And I'm pretty clear we got this one okay. And let's see if we got the next one. Well, I'm getting the first two terms, that's certainly for sure. Do we get this term over here? Yeah, we're good to go. Thank you.